UNDP reaffirms commitment to strengthen UNDP support in the country's national development priorities. Speaking to the media, United Nations Assistant Secretary General and Director Regional Bureau for Asia and the Pacific, United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Ms. Kani Vignaraja said, an exploded ordinance UXO has caused great harm to the development of Laos, so the credence of exploded munitions must be asserted. The United Nations or UN Assistant Secretary General and Director, Regional Bureau for Asia and the Pacific, the United Nations Development Program or UNDP, Ms. Kani Wignaraja, visited Laos from September 4 to 8 to strengthen UNDP's support in the country's national development priorities. I think UXO clearance is a huge issue and I was so glad to see when the Lao government established this as SDG 18 because it shows a political commitment uh, to making sure this issue is on the front burner. Now I was hoping because I have visited Laos a couple of times before um, and looked at this issue that by now um, the country would have advanced much faster to clear uh, UXOs. Offering an exclusive interview to the mainstream media, the top United Nations officials, Ms. Kani Wignaraja, said UXO has harmed Laos too much for too long. So it is slow uh, and it needs to accelerate. And I hope uh, UNDP is, is really uh, pleased to be part of this effort. Um, and uh, we are determined to do everything we can to accelerate this effort. We have a large number of partners who work with us and support this uh, through our program. Um, and they, together with the national entities, uh, also now uh, are see that this has to take on um, more intensity. Uh, According to her, unexploded ordinance or UXO has caused great harm to the development of Laos. So the clearance of unexploded munitions must be accelerated. UXO has harmed the country Laos too much for too long, and that needs to change. Uh, because just under 2% of land that has to be cleared has been cleared, and that is just not the pace. Uh, if this has been two decades, uh, you really have to put much more uh, effort behind this. It's not easy. Uh, these are UXOs that have been there for over 40 years, um, but it is possible. Technology has improved. Uh, so I think there's, um, I think, a renewed determination. She said she has visited Laos a couple of times before and looked at this issue. And by now, the country should have advanced much faster in clearing unexploded ordinance. It is slow and needs to accelerate. Ms. Wignaraja said UNDP is pleased to be part of this effort and is committed to help Laos accelerate UXO clearance efforts. It is critical to take on more intensity because only a very small percentage of contaminated land has been cleared so far, and more must be done to deal with this issue, she added. She noted that unexploded devices have been present in Laos for more than 40 years, but it is possible to remove them because technology has improved. Renewed determination is essential, she said, not only on the part of the government, but also by development partners. Both from the government side, uh, but also from uh, the, the partner side, and from uh, that UNDP can, can leverage uh, to make sure we all act faster to do this. Because without that, you're very right, um, it has harmed this country too much for too long, uh, and this needs to change. Ms. Wignaraja said she is also glad to see that the Lao government has established Sustainable Development Goals number 18, Lives Safe from UXO. It shows political commitment to make sure this issue is on the front burner. According to the UNDP, Laos is per capita the most heavily bombed country in the world. More than 40 years after the end of the 1964-1973 Indochina War, unexploded ordinance remains a major humanitarian and socio-economic challenge to the country, causing death and injuries, limiting access to potentially productive land, and adding substantial costs to the process of development. 
From 2008 to 2022, 1,091 people were victims of 673 UXO accidents, of whom 808 were injured and 283 died, according to the National Regulatory Authority Office for UXO Mine Action in Laos, or NRA. Many people in Laos have been disabled in UXO-related accidents while going about their daily lives, gathering food, lighting fires to cook food, installing fences, and farming after accidentally igniting explosive devices. The government is mobilizing funding from development partners to clear UXO so that more land is available for agriculture and development schemes. Laos has embraced the UXO issue as a key development concern by formulating Sustainable Development Goal 18, Lives Safe from UXO.